In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to remove lovable watermark from website 2020-25, step by step. First, open your preferred web browser and search for the lovable platform. Head to the official site and sign into your account. Use your regular credentials and make sure you're logging into the same workspace where your website project lives. Once you're in your dashboard, select the website project you already created. This opens the project view where you can manage integrations and exports. Look for the GitHub icon and click it. You'll be prompted to connect GitHub, so go ahead and choose that option. If you're asked to select an organization, pick the one where you want the repository to live. If you see a confirmation about transferring or moving the project, choose the option to proceed anyway. This simply authorizes the connection so your project can be exported. When the connection is done, you'll see a link or button to view the repository, click that to open it on GitHub. In the repository, click the code button, then choose download zip. Save the zip file to a convenient folder on your computer. Next, extract the files. Right click the zip and select extract here or use your operating system's equivalent to unpack everything into a folder. Inside that folder, find the index.html file. Right click it and select open with Visual Studio Code. If you use another editor, that's fine but Visual Studio Code makes editing and searching easier. Now make the required change in the code by replacing the relevant reference with seu.vercel preview. Use the editor's find and replace to ensure the correct paths or references are updated consistently. Be careful not to alter unrelated code and consider making a quick backup of the original file before your edits. If your project includes assets like a favicon and a banner, move those into the public folder as indicated so that the file paths resolve correctly when deployed. When prompted by your editor, confirm the replacement so all intended instances are updated. With your edits complete, return to GitHub and create a new repository. Click new, name the repo as you prefer, and keep it public or private based on your needs. Upload the edited project files, including the updated index.html and the assets in the correct folders. Finally, click commit changes to save everything to the repository. That's it, you've exported your project, adjusted the code, organize the assets and push the updated files to GitHub. As a best practice, preview your site after deployment and make sure you comply with any platform licensing or branding terms that apply to your plan.